video, I'm going to show you how to use dynamic reports in Genesis Cloud. Dynamic reviews display historical and real-time metrics for the contact center, views, agents, interactions, outbound campaigns, schedule callbacks, and workforce management. Genesis allows you to configure and personalize views to meet your business needs. The analytic workspace contains up to 20 views, each represented by a tab. The data presented in each view depends on your filter and configuration preferences. For example, you can go to Performance, Workspace, Agent Performance to see a dynamic view of how your agents are performing. Click the Filter User Search icon in the top left to filter by collection of users by name, division, group, role, or location. At the top of the screen, you can define an interval for the data. For example, you might choose the current date for an up-to-date look at performance, or you might choose the past week to see how performance has changed over time. In the right corner, click the filter icon to filter by media type, skills, languages, direction, and more. Click on the plus icon, then modify the columns that appear in the view. Click Export. Enter your email address, then select Schedule Export. Choose a time period. Select a granularity according to the selected time period. Click Show Advanced Options. If the view contains the duration column, time values are formatted in milliseconds. To format time values in hours, minutes, and seconds, select the Format Durations option on the Export page. Export your data from selected views as a CSV file or a PDF report delivered to your inbox in Genesis Cloud. For CSV export files, select the comma delimiter or semicolon delimiter to separate values. Once you have scheduled the export, you can view or edit it anytime by going to the Scheduled Exports section of the Genesis Cloud Dynamic Views. The export will run automatically according to the schedule you have set and the resulting data will be available for download in the specific format. Today we support a limit of 20 concurrent schedules, and if you need to run multiple, you can disable one and then enable another as opposed to having to delete them.